Aries, 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 doom, 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 doom. Aries, Aries, Aries. Hello, Aries. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So, as I always said, this is a general reading, so do take what makes sense for you. Leave the rest for somebody else. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please like this video, share, tell a friend to tell a friend if you have not already. All right, so let's see what we have coming towards you, Aries, in love. What is coming to Aries in love, Aries? Ooh, hold on. This one flew all the way out, guys. Here it goes. So, Aries, you have patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Mm. Okay, we could breathe now. So it looks like this may not be a freak reading, guys. So let's see. Um, we have here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. Twin flame, this is a divine counterpart connection. My goodness, okay. Sounds like some good things are popping off for the Aryans here. So let's see, Eri from Perry, what we got. What is coming to Aries? In love, Aries. You may be connected to a Libra. What is coming to Aries collective in love? Aries in love. Aries, what is coming? All right, Aries, you have the Knight of Cups. What is coming to Aries in love? Aries. Six of Coins. What's coming to Aries in love, Aries? What else do we have coming to Aries in love? So we have a love offer here. We have, you know, uh, okay. This could be, you know, somebody asking you out, Aries. You know, new person, past person. Who knows? It's general. We don't know exactly, you know. <laughs> this could be new or old for, for you guys, okay? So Knight of Cups could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio. Taurus and Libra, I'm hearing what's coming to Aries in love. What's coming to Aries in love, Aries? What is coming to Aries in love? Give me more information. What is coming to Aries in love, Aries? So Aries, you have the world. What is coming to Aries in love? One more card, Aries. What's coming to Aries in love, Aries? You got the four of wands. You have the eight of cups. Okay. So for some of you, this may be someone who walked away from you. Maybe you walked away from this freak. Or you close another chapter with somebody else. And now you could be heading into, you know, something that can definitely be stable for you. Aries. Okay. Some of you, yeah. I mean, could be a reconciliation. You do have the four of wands and the ace of wands. Okay. But bottom line, I do feel like there's strong chemistry here between you and this person. Um, you know, it's hot. Hot like fire. <laughs> it's hot like fire for the Aries Collective here, okay? Um, you know, somebody's really making some type of romantic gesture. We do have the Knight of Cups. Um, keep in mind, this could be something that you're doing, they're doing, okay? But someone is going to make a gesture here. Um, I think that maybe you have decided that this person is someone that you, you know, you, you are willing to see where things go with, okay? Or this person has decided that they would like to see where things go with you, okay? Um, I definitely feel like there could definitely be, you know, a twin flame connection going on here with the four of wands, okay? This is equal give and take. This is a uh, proper uh, reciprocation here, okay? Um, so Aries, for those of you in relationships, this is just confirmation for you to let you know that this person has nothing but romantic, pure, loving intention towards you, okay? Um, this person definitely is your soulmate, okay? Whether twin flame or not, you guys definitely have a past life connection with each other. And this is it. The world card is here. This is it for you and this person, okay? I feel like you both are giving and taking very equally if you're in a relationship. And this is absolutely wonderful. Um... I'm also hearing for some of you, if you're rekindling your romance, your love, maybe you guys go traveling, you guys do something to kind of bring back that uh, that passion, that spark again, okay? So don't be surprised if you're being asked out on a date, you know, or just someone maybe telling you how they feel, whatever the case may be. I think you can give this person a chance, Aries. You do have um, 
justice at the bottom of the deck. Some of you, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a proposal here, okay? Because you do have the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, Six of Coins. Some of you could be getting engaged, all right? But higher levels of commitment is on the table here. Um, could be with a Taurus, okay? Justice in the Hierophant. This is marriage. Tell me more. What is coming to Aries in love? Tell me more. What is coming to Aries in love? Tell me more, please. Aries. What is coming to Aries in love? Tell me more for Aries in love, please. I mean, you have the Wheel of Fortune travels definitely indicated, guys, with the world card. You have so many major arcana. You have the freaking judgment. You have the world. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you could be seeing 11, 11, 10, 10. Um, and 10, 10 is usually like a completion number, 10. Um, that means that basically, you know, this could be really the person for you. This is at, okay, this is it. I can't, be, I can't believe it's not butter. All right, Emily from Paris. Oh, hell no. This thing just fall. Come on. So everything will unfold in divine timing. Spirit is, you know, urging you to be more, to be open, you know, generous with your time, your affection, your money. Now, <laughs> Okay, what's coming to Aries in love? What is coming to Aries in love? Can I have two more cards? My goodness, Ten of Cups. Whoa, it's a great day to be in Aries or it's a great day to have Aries in your moon rising or your Venus. <laughs> I have an Aries Venus. All right, Aries, one more card. And the Magician, I mean, whoever you're with Aries, all they want to do is make you happy. All they want to do is manifest you know, a stable life, but one that's filled with passion. Because you could have a relationship or a connection. That doesn't mean it's passionate, but, you know, the Four of Wands is amazing because it's like, not only are you emotionally fulfilled with this person, but there's so much passion. It's like, can't keep my hands to myself, okay? So you won't be able to keep your hands off this freak. They won't be able to keep their hands off you. Um, this is it. This is it. This could definitely be your ideal partner. So like I said, it just, just place it wherever you see fit. If you know you're dealing with a new person, then that's the scenario that I'm seeing playing out here. Okay. Um, if you're in a relationship, then look, you better thank your lucky stars because you are in a very, very good relationship and um, only good things are going to happen from here on out. Um, this relationship is very stable and this is really probably it for you. Okay. Don't look any further. Just to top it off, the hierophant at the bottom of the deck, you know, commitment. What else you want to see? And if for those you're dealing with a past person, then I mean, things could definitely be reunited here, reignited here, okay? Somebody's probably making more of an effort, being more open here. What else for Aries in this love situation? What else is coming? Oh, we have the fool. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so be on me. Whenever I see the fool with all these like commitment cards, you could be jumping, jumping, what do they call it? Jumping the broom, getting married, engaged. You're happy, okay? Or this is coming for you in your relationship. Others of you, you're just starting a new journey here with this person, a new beginning, okay? Or you're just falling in love with somebody here. And I mean, you're going to fall, fall. Because this person has fallen for you, Aries. They've fallen very deeply. What else for Aries in love? What else for Aries in this love situation? We have the Empress. I mean, come on, Aries. Oh, jeez. This reading cannot get any better. This reading really can't get any better, Aries, for sure. Um, you know, the Empress is the divine feminine here. Abundance, growth, unconditional love. Uh, this is someone who really sees you. They see your soul. Um, some of you are pregnant or this person wants to get you pregnant. Okay, you guys may be starting a family, getting engaged absolutely beautiful so it would probably be up to you what you want to do aries but something very very beautiful abundant is on your path whether this is a new person or through reignite reignited relationship okay all right <laughs> so let's see what this person will want to tell you aries oh so look at that so this freak watches your every move and then you have let's get married so this person really wants to get married to you aries like I said, give me the invite. <laughs> or I'm getting married or whatever, I'll give you guys the invite. <laughs> okay.
So this person does not want you to see anybody else, Aries. They just want you to see that. I just told you, don't look any further. Some of you, maybe you're getting back into dating, okay? You're going to catch yourself a pretty good fish here after, you know, healing. Missing you is driving me crazy. My heart and soul belongs to you. What else does this person want to tell Aries? I don't want them, so they don't want whatever freak that was. Oh, so this person said, tell them you're mine, okay? So whoever you're dealing with, you better let them know that you're there. <laughs> They're not taking no for an answer. What else for Aries? Very lonely. So, some of you may want, you know, this person to give you a chance or this person wants you to give them a chance. You have let me explain. Let me get three more for Aries. Ooh. Three more for Aries. You have, I won't hurt you. What else for Aries? Yeah, I have blank cards. As you guys can see, I actually redid this deck. So some blank cards are, are in there. Aries. Okay. First thing on my mind in the morning, one more. So you have jealous and hating. So for some of you, you know, when you get together with this person, don't be surprised if people are jealous and they're hating because this is absolutely beautiful. This is the best reading I feel like I've probably ever really done for you. I mean, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Just like Tony the Tiger. Great. Is it him that says that? Okay. But yeah. Enjoy Aerie from Paris. They may want to take you to Paris a little bit here, okay? All right, well... Love you guys. Talk to you guys next time.